Hey, Big H. What are you doing? You guys like it out here, huh? It's that time. We need to extend the pig pasture again. First thing we got to do is disconnect the fence. Nobody wants to get shocked. So here's the run we extended last time. They've got it right down to bare dirt. They've cleaned it up awesome. I don't know if you guys can remember, but over here they could barely get by the fence. The shrubs and fern was so high. And then all in here was the same. They've done pretty darn good, I'll say myself. So now we're wanting to extend it down along here, up and around. All these apple trees. And we'll just do it back straight across. Right down straight through here and down and around. Kind of a neat funky apple tree. This was all overgrown, we couldn't get to it. So we'll grass this all in afterwards and this will be a nice little place to hang out. Found a ball and we're playing with it. Good out. Hey, watch out for me. <laughs> Knock me out. Where's the ball? Put away the ball. How can you use in those ones and these ones? Because they're gonna put those in like corners. Okay. Maybe like a little extra stronger. We'll see. these round fiberglass posts for the isolators you want the round post isolators the ones that screw together so you go ahead put the two pieces together slide them down and for pigs you want to remember they only see like our knees height the highest so you're gonna want two strands of electrical fence one about shin high And then one about knee height. I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do this all the way around the perimeter. Then on the on the corners, I'm putting metal T posts so they're a little sturdier. And you just need these T post isolators. And those ones that get, you're gonna set knee height. Put it on one end. Click it in place.
once we run the fence back to where we started, just want to make sure we get a couple of good wraps around the insulator. Come over to my poultry fence and hook the wire up to the connector they give you to hook multiple fences together. And that'll make this other fence hut now. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, walk around, and check the lower fence. If it's too close to the ground, I'm just gonna raise it up. The aluminum wire fencing is kind of hard to see, so we're just going with putting a bunch of orange flag tape on it so people can see it and the pigs will learn where the fence is and other wildlife. Now we'll go test the fence, plug it in. Turn it on. Hear it hitting up here. Let's go check it down below and see how it's doing. Check it right by the poultry netting where we plugged it in. I'm gonna take this ground one, stick that right to the ground. It's not showing that it's hitting. I'll we'll have to figure that out. So that's why we check it. I just remembered that part of the fence isn't live since we disconnected it from the fence over here. That poultry netting is the live fence. So we're gonna have to go over here. We gotta disconnect the fence first. Then we'll come over here and we'll hook the fence. We'll hook the aluminum fence up to the poultry netting. All right guys, let's try this. The big source of our troubles was, as I had the electric fence, the aluminum electric fence hooked up to the wrong poultry netting. Let's go ahead and see how good this fence is hitting now. Ground that end out in the ground. Hook this end to the fence. It's not showing up that good, but we're hitting 6,000 volts. You can't see it in the camera, unfortunately. There you go, you can see it a little bit. So, that should be good. Let's go let the pigs out and see what they think. You guys want out? Ready to try out the new pen? You gotta move so I can open the gate. You don't want my feet. She's buried in there right up to her ears. Look at her. They're in hog heaven. You in hog heaven over there? Yeah. Hello.
Let's go see if we can sneak up on the pigs out in the pasture and see what they're up to. Hi, piggies. What are you doing? Guys like it out here, huh? Been going to town rooting it up and eating some grubs and some bugs. Look at your dirty snout. That's how we can tell you're having fun. Thanks guys for watching. We hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. The pigs just wanted to say hi. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres. <laughs> I guess one had to go to the bathroom. Looks kind of like a miniature elephant turd. Wow, that's, that's some good fertilizer. <laughs>